During the recent protest and violence that took place in Charlottesville, Virginia, the mass media has done everything to spin the narrative to try and link President Trump to the violence that injured 19 and killed 3. Despite rebuking the violence that took place, the media has done everything in its power to try and slander Trump further. To their dismay, Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece, Alveda King, appeared on Fox News to let the American public know that she stands with the president. We've got to stop the violence, she said. The president is right about that. The relative of the famous civil rights hero spoke about the importance of nonviolence and of peace after violence broke out at a nationalist rally amongst far left and far right attendees. I was blown up by the Ku Klux Klan in our home, but we knew that the goal was to transform the laws and transform the human hearts towards compassion, she said while on Fox and Friends this Sunday. Racism is sin. Hatred is sin. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools, she would go on to say. I have decided to stick with love. Hate is a great burden to bear. The media has strongly criticized Trump for not naming the writers as white supremacists when he condemned them yesterday, but King said the point that the news outlets missed was that everyone needs to stop the violence, on both sides of the political spectrum. She noted, Trump himself is a brilliant man. I believe he's compassionate. If you go and look at all of the executive orders, the things for women and science, for African American education, for moving into our communities with Dr. Ben Carson, there are so many things that he's doing and he's working with African American leaders. King, who is a vocal advocate for the rights of unborn through her anti abortion group Civil Rights for the Unborn, carries on the legacy of MLK's philosophy that champions the power of nonviolent protest. Her support of Trump's message is sure to irk many in the media who want to distance themselves from what Trump is saying and criticize him for not being vocal enough against the white nationalists involved in the violence. However, some consider Trump's universal statement to be a fairer representation of the situation. A recent video shows far-left groups such as Antifa, who have recently been classified as a domestic terrorist group, and Black Lives Matter initiating some violence on their own against their far-right counterparts. Interestingly enough, we don't see the media criticizing the role these far-left groups played in the outbreak of violence something that is becoming all too often. As both parties of the event stand guilty of playing a part in instigating this conflict, blaming the president is not the way to solve the problem. Although nonviolent protest is desirable in a civilized society, it will be difficult to see civil discourse survive as this nation becomes ever more polarized across political and racial lines. Mm -hmm.